this house, there's some wars in 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 this house, like what all right y'all i'm about to get into the video let's go all right y'all so let's get into it so i always go in with my milk primer that just make sure everything be like extra smooth like butter so and it's like important that whenever you prime your face you make sure you really massage it in because that's really like the primer is filling your pores like so not I go in with my color corrector it's by Maybelline I got it at, um, got it at Walgreens and I always color correct and I put like the orangish red under my eyes around my mouth because we just want flawless skin like we want to look like we, we, we like we want to look like our skin is just like, like they like skin. Like you just, like you don't need no makeup for what? Anyway, okay, y'all don't, y'all don't pay attention to me. So after I do that, I go in with my <laughs> and like blend it in. Y'all gotta excuse me. Like I'm doing this voiceover, but while I was, I was, I was doing it, I was listening to music. So I'm gonna go in with my foundation shade of Fenty. Y'all, y'all should know I like love this foundation because listen, I I use it and it literally be it be doing justice like yeah. And then I get my buffing brush and I go in with that. And y'all gotta like excuse me for my hair because right now I do look a little crusty, dusty. However, once the video is over, like y'all gonna see ya. I slayed it, I fucked it up, I did whatever I need to do with it. Alright, so the next step, we're gonna get into that concealer. Once again, you already know who it is. It's the Fenty Concealer. And not only that, so I like my under eyes to be bright, bright, bright. So you already know I go in with my Fenty Concealer. And then after that, I go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. So you're going to see the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And it's in the color yellow. And I put that on because I'd be like, oh, listen, under eyes going to be bright. Y'all ain't going to know what to do. Like, get all them points. And that's me doing my nose contour a little bit. But y'all going to see what I do. And it's so important when you do your concealer that you blend, 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 blend. Like. If you do anything, blend, 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 blend. If you feel like you ain't blended enough, probably haven't. So go back and blend, 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 blend. All right. So as you can see, I'm still blending. Because when you want that flawless application, you just, you want it to be undetectable. Like, you don't want bitches to be able to clock you and be like, that's why your makeup ain't blended. Like, I'm just, no. So now I go in the middle and I put that on my forehead and then go down to my nose because this is how I do my contour. And this is also how you get like a really snatched nose. Once again, like I said, we go on back and blend in. I'm over here checking in the camera to make sure everything blended. So now I'm going in with my contour color. And we're about to go contour. Yes, we are. Gotta make sure we get some cheekbones. So my contour color is really like, it's darker than me, but it's not like prevalent dark. So really, like I already have high cheekbones. So when I put the contour color in, it kind of just make it look more natural. But 
for people who like really who don't really have no cheekbones i would advise you to use a darker color so with my contour i go in and put it on my nose now i got my angle brush and i'm going in to blend in that contour now all these products i'm using at the moment they're liquid we ain't got to the powders yet but that's what i do i love to go in with my liquids and then after i go on with my liquids i go on with my powder but before we get to the liquid before we get to the powders we gotta do the liquids because once again this is a foundation see here we go again with the blending y'all y'all gonna see me blend about a good five times in this video and like keep going back because i really just be like a perfectionist when i come to blending because i refuse to have flashback i refuse to not be able to take a good video because y'all gonna be like wow anyway all right so next i go in with what is that oh my gosh <laughs> okay it was a little difficult for me However, this is the Makeup Revolution powder in the color Banana. And I go in with a damp beauty blender and I make sure I press that into my skin. The reason I go in with a damp beauty blender is because it makes it last longer. And in my opinion, I think it makes it look more flawless. So like y'all will see me bake, but right now this is just I'm just setting everything. So as you see me like going in and setting this. Once I get done with the setting with the beauty blender, I'm going to go in with some more powder. And once I go in with some more powder, I'm going to, um, what I got? I go in with like a fluffy brush and then I put more powder on my face. Y'all, this is beauty 101. Once you have like liquid foundation, if you want the like flawless matte look, go in with powder. Powder, powder, powder. And powder. So you see I went in with powder. Now I'm about to go in with some more powder. Alright, here we go. We put that powder all over. That's the powder that's the same color as us. So like, and I ain't gonna lie, I don't even know how long I had this powder. But it is... Let me see what what his name is. It's the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the color W8. So I made sure like I went in with that. Your next step, we're gonna take some honey powder. And this is by Fenty. I really love her powders, y'all. Like her powders are amazing. And I think sometimes people like be scared to really go in with the powder, but I go in with my powder because once again, like it's really about the blending. Now you see me about to put it on my eyes because this is also we about to get into some eyeshadow. Some eyeshadow, y'all. I put it down my nose. Once again, that's the baking part. But now we're going in with our contour in the color, what palette is this? The, the Light to Medium Palette by Black Radiant. And we go into the color, well it's just, it just says contour. I always go into the contour first. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the color Banana. And this is in the, um, this is by Rihanna as well. Y'all, I just, I just, oh my gosh, her powders be, and they last, like, they don't be going out, like, how you be thinking they go out, they don't be going out like that. Alright, so next one for this is, we're gonna go into our Morphe palette. I like to take my fluffy brush, and you about to see me go in the corner, yep, like that. So I'm going in with my fluffy brush in the corner. So you see the way it looks like that? So I'm going to continue to do this because we're building color. We're building color. And this look is inspired by Megan's 
wet and gushy video so <laughs> yeah hopefully y'all like it because I was like looking at her makeup look and I said oh okay well then Meg did the thing like what like she popping I mean Meg's always been popping but anyway so Y'all gonna see All me right. put this so in now the I'm about to put it on there for the, the concealer I ain't even gonna and tart. It's I put it on my eyelids, y'all, okay? So it's on my eyelids. Alright. Y'all gonna see me just slap that hoe on there. And it ain't gonna lie. Like it's just gonna be on there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, I'm gonna let y'all know. This is like I'm not really like the best at doing cut creases. I am not. Not the best at doing cut creases. However, I did try. And I tried to make sure I like got all the purples. So I went in with her purple eyeshadow. And I put that where I packed on the uh the concealer. Now, once again, like I said, I don't really be doing eyeshadow looks like that. Because I really, honestly, after I do my makeup, I'd be like, all right, lashes, boom. That's what we do. We go straight in with lashes. But nope. This one for y'all, y'all. Y'all got it. Like, y'all, y'all got this. Yeah, so now I'm going in with another purple eyeshadow, and I'm putting that in the corner. And I will say, I'm using a mixture of BH Cosmetics and Morphe. It's been a minute since I used BH Cosmetics, honestly, I ain't even gonna lie. So next... You're about to see me go in with some more purple, but this is like a darker purple. A darker purple. And I put that like not all not all on my lid, but I put that more toward the corners because Meg definitely had like a smoky effect. I definitely like, I'm not gonna lie, like she has smoky effect. So that's what we gonna do. I saw the smoky effect. So next, I go in with this purple lilac color. I'm trying to think. Was it like a, yeah, it's a purple lilac color. And it has like a little bit of shimmer, like not too much shimmer. Or like, it looked different. I ain't gonna lie. It looked different. So... I don't know, I probably should have primed my eyes, like, instead of just, because y'all actually do have, like, an eyeshadow primer. I don't know why I didn't do that. So I'm going to go in with the purple shade under my eyelids. And just keep going in with that. Because once again, like, this is smoky purple, like, you already know what it's going, like, what you want it to look like, I. So next, damn. All right, so now you're about to go in, and I take my black eyeliner pencil. I ain't gonna lie. Now I'm looking at it. It it don't really look like it got that much going on with it as far as like pigment. But it's okay. We just go. I'm gonna have to try that like lighter trick where you burn like a piece of it. Let me see if that makes it look better. Because honestly, I ain't gonna lie. This is looking a little crazy. That's a little bit. And like, y'all, I'm not the best at like doing wing eyeliner. I'm not regular eyeliner. Nope, not that either. However, <laughs> I was just trying to like, okay, add some more drama. Like, that's all I was trying to do is just add a little more drama, you know? Because people don't be wanting, like, as much drama as I be wanting. But that was it. Just, just add that drama. So, 
So now you're going to see me go in and make sure I blend out my highlight. Going in with my sculpting color because that's very important. Especially with the nose, going with that. Put it on the chin, cross my forehead, y'all. So next, I'm gonna go in with my blush, my pink little blush, and that's also by L'Oreal True Match. Damn, I don't even know you can see it. Okay, I gotta put on more blush. It's okay though. So. Now you see me going in with my chapstick because it's important to make sure those lips are not like crazy. Like we don't want no ashy lips, y'all. No ashy lips. So then I go in with my color Swiss Chocolate. And this is by Cherimoya. It sure is. Yep, yep, yep. It's by Cherimoya. And as you see, I'm going outlining my lips. Just outline them lips, y'all. Now, for more dramatic effect, I have like the same kind of color, but this is actually supposed to be for like a liner, but not for lips, like a little literal eyeliner. So that's why you see it looking like this. But now I'm about to go on my pink gloss or nude, whatever you like to call it. a really good step in doing this and this is the final look y'all all right so i'm gonna let my song play while i get y'all these slow mos let's get it There's some wars in this house. 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 There